Hello everyone and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. Last time we left off, we met the we met Malari in his mines and he agreed to repairing the Picori Blade, but it's gonna take a while, so in the meantime we need to track down another element. And we are in a new dungeon called the Cave of Flames. Aha! Ah, fuck off! My roots. Don't really need to attack those people. Let's see what Cory has to say. I mean, Ezlo. This isn't the time to idle about, you lazy boy. We have to we have to search for the elements while Malaria works on that sword. Can I just say hi to you, you fucking prick? Jeez. Can't go under there. This must be what the humans who built this mine used to get around in here. Maybe we should hop in. Hmm? What? After all this, you don't you don't expect me to believe you're scared. There's nothing to be afraid of here. Come on, let's go! God, I used to love this portion of the game. And you ever see why, for those who don't know. Let me just kill this guy. And let's get on this. God damn. Sweet jumping jellyfish! That was awful! Hey kid, what are you smiling about? I knew it was madness to risk our lives in this rickety human contraption. <laughs> From now on, let's just stick to our feet. Well, I mean your feet. I'll just stick to the rims of my hat. <laughs> I thought it was ridiculous how fast those things go, like, cause seriously, at that speed you can die. You know, they look, they look like just simple cardinals. How interesting. So there was a portal hidden away in here? Hmm. Whenever you want to shrink your shrink you down, just hop on, just hop up here and press R. I know that. Let's do it! Mutter your gibberish and shrink me down, hat! Hiya! I was expecting an animation, but okay. Guess we all can't be satisfied. For someone small, you run pretty quickly, Link. Jeez, oh, it's pretty hot here. <laughs> Can't you say anything about the rooms? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is perfectly safe. It's probably gonna be a map up here. Hey, I was right. <laughs> you found the dungeon map. Check it on your map screen. Lighter rooms are the ones you- Yeah, yeah. We all know this. Whatever, they can't hurt me when they're in that form. You got a kinstone piece. Yeah. Oh my, it looks like... It looks really, really hot in that lava. Trust me, falling into that would be a bad idea. I'm sure you agree. Yeah, I don't want to fall inside molten liquid. And have my fucking skin melted off. Along with my bones! And everything inside my whole body.
Okay, I was about to say, did they come out or something? Alright! You got 50 rupees! You must be very happy! That's a purple root. our way over here, do a little turn around, go down here, and we made it. Push this little thingamabob, and ba-doop. Oh, my bad. Yeah, yeah. I've already been here. What more can I do? Back into the fucking hell ride of this thing. God. I feel bad for the kid. But at the same time, I'm pretty sure he enjoys it. Nice. Back on this. Jesus. Those poor bats. They never saw the coming. <laughs> what if they just sliced his head off? Oh god, that'd be morbid. That heart is tempting, but I shall not get it. Because as tempting as it is, I'm not going to risk my life for lava. Like, I'm not going to jump into lava for something that can heal me. In the process, I'd be hurting myself more. And jars are explosive resistant? Whatever, we got five hearts. You got a heart piece. You completed a new heart container. Your life energy has been replenished and increased. Nice. You know, a horrible way to get killed out of these people is if they climbed onto you and then turned into spikes. Because the whole body envelops in spikes. So that would be like having a uh, spike um, pipe bomb go off in you in some mass. Though that's a pretty cool image once I think about it. It's also very more. Hey, you got the Kame of Pakaya. Paki. Okay. This mystical rod has the power to flip things over. Use it to charge up your charge up energy in holes that then fill up, then flip up on it, to flip on out on it, of it. Okay, I can't read that for some reason. Playing a baka. I was gonna call it baka. Cause what ifs? Yeah. Oh. Neat. Hey kid, why don't you take that cane of Paka and fire it into that hole? I mean, you never know what will happen until you try it, right? You seem to know a lot about these items. Is there something you're not telling me? Neat. And now we can flip this over. Woo! Damn it! My bless wants more! <sighs> Those minecarts must be so durable if they can go Mach 8. Neat. You know, really, most Zelda games are just walking forward. If you think about it, there's a fly in my room. That's great. Got it. Sorry, there was a fly in my room and I killed it. <laughs> so 
also didn't mean to scare any of you. Hmm. Okay, we gotta be small for that. Ow. Hmm. I can't notice. That's interesting. Oh, I see why. Back. Push this forward. And push it to the left. Let it fall. Swing at it. And uh, lower those things. And we're going to call it. We're going to end the video for now. Because we're out of time. So leave a link and comment if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel grow. And in the next video. We're going to explore a little more. And see what happens. So until then, see you guys later.